Mayor of Belgrade has the best organized opposition party and a track record as an outspoken critic of President Milosevic. Just over two years ago, Djindjic helped lead the pro-democracy marches in Belgrade. They came closer than anyone to toppling the regime. He has the same mission today. Uh, we as, as democratic opposition we will try to remove him from the office. After the war, our uh, first goal is to re remove Milosevic from the war. Uh, he, he has destroyed our country. The flight of refugees from Kosovo and their detailed accounts of Serb atrocities there have convinced Zoran Djindjic of the need for a Nuremberg-style war crimes trial with Milosevic held personally accountable. Milosevic is responsible for all what is uh, happened in this country. Uh, only he uh, conducts the war, only he uh, takes decision, decisions. What about your own personal safety, your own life? Nobody is safe. Uh, uh, nobody is safe, is safe in Serbia uh, today. Uh, uh, we have uh, thousands of, 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 uh, of victims uh, of the war. Are you taking a risk just talking to me today? Uh, it's uh, uh, a risk of, of, of profession. You cannot be a uh, uh, democratic opposition in Balkan without risk. I have bodyguards. I change city uh, every two or three days. It is uh, not easy uh, to, to kill me. Despite the risks, he often slips north into Serbia. A political leader on the run, a would-be president of Yugoslavia after Milosevic. That in itself today could be a sentence of death. But Zoran Djindjic's calculation is that secretive planning, ingenuity and luck will keep him alive. Brian Barron, BBC News, Montenegro.